Hello everyone, welcome back to Rosy Maths class. Today we shall discuss example number 3 of chapter 11, Surface Areas and Volumes. A corn cob shaped somewhat like a cone has the radius of its broadest end as 2.1 cm and length which is the height as 20 cm. If each 1 square centimeter of the surface of the cob carries an average of 4 grains, find how many grains you would find on the entire cob. So a corn cob is given which is in the shape of a cone. So let's draw a rough sketch. Let's say this is our cone but the cone it's let's like this. Okay. This is just a rough sketch and let's say this is the base of the cone. The radius is given as 2.1 centimeter of the broadest end so this is the narrowest and this is the broadest end right so the radius is given as 2.1 centimeter let's write here as well and the length or height as 20 centimeter height means from this point till the center so this is the height it's a straight perpendicular line which is <coughs> 20 centimeters 20 centimeters it's given that 1 square centimeter of the surface has 4 grains. So in this case, first we need to find the curved surface area of this cone, And then we need to find the number of grains. So for that, we need the slant height. Slant height is this height which is L. The formula for slant height is L equals to square root of R squared plus H squared. That is the Pythagoras theorem. So here R is 2.1 squared and H is 20 squared, right? So rough work 2.1 times 2.1, this is 21 and this is 42, so 144. After the decimal, one digit, after the decimal, one digit. So that means 4.41. So this is equal to square root of 4.41 plus 20 into 20 is 400. So that equals to square root of if you add 400 plus 4.41 then that would be 404.41. Now we need to find the square root of this and this is all in centimeters and this is the place where most of the students find it difficult so let's find the square root on a different page so for the square root we will write the number 404.41 and this you have done in grade 8 so you have to draw lines like this now place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the digit at one's place. So one's place we have four and after the decimal also we need to put a bar but it must be in pairs. So zero four here we just have one digit so we will put bar on one digit after the decimal two digits so that is in pair again okay. That is your first step. Then this is your dividend now. Now you need to find a number when you square it. It should be less than 4 or equal to 4. So 2 into 2 is 4. 2 into 2, 4. 4 minus 4, 0. Now bring down the number under the next bar. So we have 0, 4. We bring this down. Double the quotient and enter it with the blank on its right. So 2, 2 plus 2 would be 4. 4 and then we put a blank here. And the same number goes here. Okay. So now we need to think that what number should I multiply like 4 and here is a blank here also is a blank 4 blank and here also blank. So we need to think that what number should I enter here so that we get something which is equal to 4 or less than 4. So the only number that goes is 0 because that gives you 0 right. So put a 0 here and a 0 here. So this will be 0. This becomes 4. Now the new remainder is 4. Then we have a decimal point. So place a decimal point here and bring down the next pair which is 41. 
okay double the quotient 20 20 becomes 40 and with the blank on the right same rule goes you need to think of a number such that when you multiply it with the new quotient whatever you will enter here it must be less than 441 so I can think of 1 401 into 1 is 401 so that is smaller than this 401 and here we will put 1 and 1 okay subtract 0 4 and this is 0 now the division is not complete because we have not got a 0 here as the remainder so we can put zeros however the zeros must be in pairs so two zeros we put here and bring down the zeros so this will become 4000 now and 201 ignore the decimal point 201 double of that would be 402 so my new divisor is 402 and then one digit would come here and the same digit we need to put here okay so 402 what digit should we put so that we get something which is less than 4000 so the only digit we can put is 0 because if I put 1 it will be 4021 that is greater than this we don't want that so this will be again 0 here we put a 0 0 so this becomes 4000 we are subtracting we will continue with one more digit in the quotient so now again we can put a pair of zeros bring that down okay double this this is 2010 zero, zero. so double of this will be 4020 now we want a digit here and the same digit goes here here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 digits and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can try 9, 4020 0, 0 in the blank goes 9. And we multiply this. 9 times 9, 81. 9 to the 18, 1. 9 for the 36. 3, 6, 9, 8, 8, 1 subtract this will be 91103 and here we will put 99 nine. so we can go on doing this but we will stop here because we have already got three digits after the decimal point so we will just round it off to the second digit so now we come back to our problem here here we got 20.109 right so we will write here equals to 20.109 centimeters or approximately 20.11 centimeter if you have not understood how to find the square root you can refer to class 8 textbook you have in detail ncrt textbook okay once we have the slant height we need to find the curved surface area of the corn cob so curved surface area of the corn cob which is a cone the formula is pi r l so pi is 22 over 7 r is 2.1 here r is 2.1 centimeters into l is 20.11 and this is area so the unit is squared centimeter 7 1 is 7 0 0.3 7 3 is 21 22 into 0 0.3 is 6.6 .6 into 20.11 squared centimeter multiply 6.6 .6 with 20.11 20.11 into 6.6 .6. so that's 66021 66021 uh, 7 After the decimal, two places. After the decimal, one place. So, three in total. One, two, three. So, that equals to 132.726 or we can round it off to 
132.73 squared centimeters. So this is the curved surface area of the cone. So now it is given that 1 square centimeter of the surface of the cob carries average of 4 grains. So we can write that number of grains of corn on 1 square centimeter of the surface is equal to 4. Therefore, number of grains on entire curved surface equals to multiply 132.73 because this is the curved surface area of the corn. So, 132.73 into 4 okay so we will multiply this and when you do that you will get 4 times 3 12 1 28 9 4 times 2 8 10 1 12 13 1 we get 530.92 so now we can just round it off to a whole number which is 531 grains so there would be approximately 531 grains of corn on the cob so what we did is first we found the slant height which is l and you must know how to do the square root we found the square root of 404.41 and we got the approximate value as 20.11 use the formula pi r l to find the curved surface area and then multiply the curved surface area by the number of grains which is 4 and that will give your answer. I hope it is clear to all. Thank you.